Hello and welcome to the tech update of this week. This is Tova. Since the US launched a ban on Huawei in 2019, there has been a trend taking place in the tech world, especially when it comes to chipsets. For the past decades, Chinese smartphone manufacturers have heavily relied on companies such as Qualcomm, TSMC, and MediaTek for their processes. But this trend is set to fade away in the long term as major Chinese smartphone manufacturers are now finding ways and means to reduce their reliance on chipsets manufactured by foreign third parties. Currently, companies such as Apple, Google, Huawei, and Samsung are among the four main smartphone manufacturers who are able to manufacture their own chipsets for their devices. This is about to change as latest updates confirms that Chinese tech giant Xiaomi is on the move to reduce their reliance on the use of processors from third parties such as Qualcomm and MediaTek and move towards the use of their own in-house made chipsets. Does this mean that Xiaomi is fully doing away with processors from Qualcomm? And how good are these chipsets Xiaomi is about to release? Now, according to reports, Xiaomi is currently developing a 4 nanometer chipset in partnership with semiconductor manufacturing company Unisa, a Chinese based chip maker. The overall goal of Xiaomi is to release this new 4 nanometer chipset early next year. Now, if everything goes as planned, this will become the first ever advanced chipsets made in house by Xiaomi, powered by a 5G capability. Now, this wouldn't be the first time Xiaomi is actually trying to make chipsets in-house. In 2017, Xiaomi equally attempted this by releasing the Sedge X1 chipset, which was a mid-range chipset. But three years down the line, Xiaomi had to pull the plug on this chip project as a result of cost and complications with the manufacturing process. So, what is now pushing Xiaomi to attempt this again? The answer remains the current US sanction on Huawei and the need to gain self-reliance. It is believed that this new chipset being manufactured by Xiaomi will be based on TSMC's 4 nanometer chip making processes, which therefore means that this chipset may be generation behind. This new chipset will also be equipped with 5G modem developed by Unisa. In terms of performance, this new chipset will be similar to that of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, which was released in 2021, which therefore means that the performance and the energy efficiency of this new chipset will still be good. But if you have to compare this new chipset with the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset, which Qualcomm is about to release, this new chipset from Xiaomi will still be behind that of Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset. As much as this new chipset from Xiaomi may not be at the same level of the performance of the upcoming Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset, if this new chipset from Xiaomi performs similar to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset as promised, then this can be considered as a great achievement by Xiaomi. Beyond this, last year we saw Xiaomi making yet another groundbreaking move with the release of an in-house mobile operating system as a replacement to the Android operating system, which was the Hyper OS. For now, the Hyper OS is still compatible with Android operating system, which therefore means that as at now, this operating system still contains the Android source code. But in the long term, Xiaomi will also be doing away with the Android source code, just as we saw what we did. This move by Xiaomi will ensure that Xiaomi reduce their reliance on chip makers such as Qualcomm and MediaTek. For now, Xiaomi isn't fully cutting ties with Qualcomm and MediaTek. But what is clear is the fact that Xiaomi is gradually making plans to reduce their reliance on chipsets from Qualcomm and MediaTek. Now, do you think Xiaomi can equally break away from the use of chipsets from third parties such as Qualcomm? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you find this content informative, kindly not forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next updates. See you in the next one.